What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of the Rays video. So, we finally, um, I, I say finally, but we did kind of have a PV last month, um, but it was just for the Tales of Arise stuff. So, we finally have our full PV for, because, you know, I guess they didn't give it to us last month because they wanted the Tales of Arise stuff to be a surprise. Um, but we do have the PV up for this month. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what to expect. I don't expect, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, oh, are they going to do Law and Rinwell now or Dohleem and Kassara now? They're not going to rush to get everyone out because since we're already out of main characters to add besides Arise, like everyone from Fantasia to Berseria from a main title is already in the game. That was a playable party member. Um, so I think they are going to want to drag it out. Uh, I don't know if they're going to put bring them in duos or bring them separately because we could very well get... Law by, or Rinwell by herself in an event, you know, and give some seasonals to some characters, you know, Law by himself, or they might just do them in pairs. They might have, you know, in, uh, you know, late January, have right before the anniversary, just have Law and Rinwell come, and then like in August or something, have Dohalim and Kassara come. But I think they are going to want to stretch it out at least a little bit. Um, who knows if Rays will still be around by the next main title, but, um, you know, we're pretty much at the point where we're just getting bosses and NPCs at this point. So, uh, I don't know what to expect. I would assume a Spirit Gear batch, but I could be wrong. I don't really know. Um, so, let's just take a look. I haven't looked at it yet, so I have no idea what to expect. Okay. Feels like it's been forever since we've seen this. Oh, wait. I want to see something. Did they add... I think all the main care it doesn't look like they added Alf into this uh, thing yet, which makes sense. All right, October, what do you got for us? Tales of the Tempest? Okay. Oh, 15th anniversary. Okay, so we're getting something special for them. Okay, he's finally going to be playable. That's good. Okay, and seasonals for Caius, Rubia, and uh, ah, Tilkis. Ah, I got it. <laughs> uh, so very, very cool. So if you're a Tales of the Tempest fan, this is definitely for you. Um, Rubia is actually a really good uh, unit for healing. So I would almost want to summon here if I had anything left to summon with. Between the Zestaria banner and the Arise banner, I have nothing to summon with. So this is a skip for me. Oh. Heldolf? Okay, so Heldolf is finally going to come. And Artorius? Are they coming to... <laughs> we're getting to... We're getting the final boss from Zestiria and Berseria together? Okay. Velvet Overay. And Laffy set Overay. Oh, together. There's got to be more, right? Okay, who is it? Wait. Luke. Ash and Tia, right? Oh, and Sync. Okay, that's a solid month. That is a very solid month. Okay, let's take a look at those Spirit Gears again. Because I was... It doesn't look like they went with Lorelei. Yeah, they didn't... Unfortunate. I was hoping they'd give Lorelei to Luke, but it looks like Earth, he's got Earth right there. So Luke is probably Earth. It looks like Ash is Fire. Yeah, you can get a good look at Ash right there. I like his costume, though. And then Sink obviously getting uh, Sylph for Wind. I do like how you can kind of see under the mask a little bit, though. That's a very nice uh, artwork. So, how do I think this is going to go? Um, let's actually... I want to look something up first. Uh, Tales of the Tempest. October 26th. Okay. Okay. So I think the Tempest event is going to happen last then. Um, 
I don't think the order we saw everything here is the order it's going to uh, happen in. I think we're probably going to get the Spear Gear event first when Alpha and Geon's event leaves on the 11th, which is this coming Monday. And then, of course, we'll have the story chapter, which will have Artorias held off and then Velvet and Fee for overrays, um, which I think I'm going to have to skip. I bought the Mirror Gem pack, so I've slowly been building. I'd probably have enough to do the full step up. Um, before that banner would leave, but I don't know if I want to, because I already have three, di I have three different mirror arts for Velvet, I have all of her five stars, I don't know if I care enough to go for her overay, we'll see how the animation looks, but I think for the most part I'm probably going to skip that, and then obviously I want to farm up these spirit gears, especially for Luke, because I have Luke very strong, and I've really been waiting for, so which main characters are still missing a spirit, we have Ludger, Ludger is a big one, is Lugger the only one that doesn't have a spirit gear? Uh, obviously Alfin, but we're, I'm not counting him. He just came out. Cress, yes. Stan, yes. Oh, Rid doesn't have one yet. Okay, so Rid and Ludger. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's everyone. So we have two MC, oh, three, you know, now counting Alfin, which I'm sure Alfin will probably, he could get one before the anniversary, but I don't think so. I think realistically what could probably happen is Alphen will get his Decisive Mirror Jar during the anniversary and then Spirit Gear sometime after that. But we'll have to see. It'll be very interesting. So so yeah, layout for this month. I expect Spirit Gear is on the 11th. I expect the story chapter, what is it, usual time around the 25th. And then I expect the Tales of the Tempest event at the end of the month, which October has 31 days. So um, I mean, they could do it first. I just feel like they'd want to wait closer to the anniversary, or maybe they'd even start the event early, like start it when Tempest actually came out. It's really hard to say, but we'll know by um, by tomorrow. Um, if there's a producer's letter that comes out talking about future stuff, I'll, of course, make a video on it. But uh, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think down below. This is a safe month for me. Nothing I want to summon for. Of course, I want to farm up uh, Luke, Ash, and Sinks. Uh, spirit gear, so I'll probably put some diamonds into some refills for that. Uh, hopefully I can get some of their five stars from tickets. I'm not going to be summoning for them, but right now I'm going to be stocking up again. Um, I guess to really say what I'm really waiting, I don't really know what I'm waiting for. A Lloyd overray is going to come someday, so I obviously want to be ready for that. Realistically, I really should save these mirror gems I'm building up for that. Um, who else am I really like? I think a Marta Spirit Gear would be very, very cool. I'd love that. Um, but other than that, I don't really know what else, you know, obviously stuff for the Arise characters when they come out, but there's nothing really on the top of it. Zagi when he is eventually going to come, but we got so much Vesperia this year between getting Alexei and then Jaeger and the Twins that I'm not expecting Zagi to come anytime soon. Plus, he's not even really that popular. I just really like him. Um, but he'll definitely be a character I summon for regardless of what his banner looks like. Um, because I've really been... I think Zagi will have a, a lot of really cool stuff for, like, poisoning. So I think that'll be a lot of fun to use. Plus, his fighting style in Vesperia just looks so much fun. But that's gonna be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if there's anything you're gonna be summoning for this month. Uh, Velvet is definitely overdue, uh, for something new. I believe the last thing she got was her spirit gear. Did she get her spirit... No, actually, I don't know. Did she get her spirit gear before her decisive mirror art? Because that might have been the last time she got anything. Or it might have been her collab mirror art. But it's definitely been like a year, year and a half since Velvet's gotten anything. And Laffy Set hasn't gotten anything since the Star Ocean collab. So that's great for him as well. Um, so if you are going to be summoning for them, I wish you the best of luck. And that's going to be it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.